I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for July Taurus. Now, there's much excitement around you at the moment, mainly due to the fact that Venus and um, Jupiter, which is known as the lucky planet, the planet of abundance and expansion, is sitting in your soul in the second house. Okay, now Jupiter is there for a 12 month period. Now, this is a very f fortunate, fortunate time for you because it can bring more dollars into your pocket and your bank account. It gives you emotional security as well as financial security. So, and for a Taurus, then that's very important. So, you want to be careful right at the moment, though, with the Venus sitting there because Venus can be the temptress, okay? So, it can tempt you to go out and spend dollars that, um, you know, maybe before you, you've got them. So, um, word of warning there, don't spend your money before, before the check's banked, okay? And also, this is really a year where you can get ahead more financially. And I know that it's been pretty tough over the last couple of years, not a couple of months, for Taurus. So you want to be smart this year and just put some money aside and just sort of, you know, get some security behind you. Now, there's a full moon sitting in your travel zone, so you could be planning some travel. It might be unexpected as well with the full, with the full moon energy. Um, and you could also be dealing with an emotional issue, so this could all sort of come together. But travel is likely to be, I feel that it's more likely to be around business, so that's good news too. Now, with your career and money specifically, let's have a look at what else is happening in this area. You have Mars, which is the action planet, moving into your solar sixth house. Now, Mars is great for business. The sixth house is great for business and work. But what you do need to be careful with here, Taurus, is that you put aside time for you. Okay, Mars can like give you the motivation to really achieve a lot more than you th than even you think humanly possible but it can really push you to the edge too so you want to be careful that you're not over promising and not able to deliver because you know your heart soul and your body will want to do it but you know hey there are still only 24 hours in a day so you keep that in mind so the thing that you do need to to do here is to just look after your health and your well-being um, I can't stress that enough. So, you know, for some it might be just going to the gym more. For others, you might want to get a buddy and go walking or perhaps you're reassessing your vitamin package. It's also a very good time for you to look at your overall image and personal presentation and make sure that the image you're presenting to the outside world in every different area of your life is the image that you want to portray, okay? And you can ask your friends too. So ask their opinion, you know, ask it's like, how do you think I come across? And just reevaluate. It's always good to get a second opinion. Now, love and romance. There could be some family conflict this month. So, and when I say family conflict, uh, mainly you want to just be there for people, but you want to also not give unsolicited advice. You know, sometimes it's best to wait until people ask for advice, even if you think that they're going down a track and you want to save them some heartache. Um, but certainly if you do want to have a deep and meaningful with family members or, you know, your love mate or partner, try to do it in the first two months of the week because Mercury goes retrograde, Mercury's the planet of communication, on the 15th, okay, so, uh, and it, Mercury goes retrograde about three or four times a year for about three or four weeks, okay, so, this is one of those periods and during that time, you want to just be a little careful about what you say, how you say it, okay? Mind your own business, in other words, if it's not to do with you. The other thing to be careful of this month is possessiveness, okay? So, um, and just try to, you know, analyze what it is that's important to you with a relationship. I mean, I know with Taurus money is important, but really money is not everything. You've got to think of all the other sincerity, respect, and of course friendship. Okay, so if you're looking for love, try to make your love list first. Now, your uh, lucky numbers for the month are 12, 13, 14, all in a row, and 19. I've left a couple of spaces there for your own numbers, and I've put your most dynamic day down as July the 19th. Okay, the new moon on this day can get you out there in the public, perhaps in front of the media, and your popularity is set to rise, okay? So, have a great month, Taurus. Thanks for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel.